So this part of uh, the program is the uh, week-long intensive training for law enforcement and related disciplines around recognizing and responding to mental illness and related disorders. Dr. Don Kamen led instruction at SUNY JCC with the group graduating on Friday. The group learned about different types of mental illness and how to approach someone who was affected by them in an effective way. We talk a lot about communication techniques, about slowing down, about being empathic and developing rapport and connecting with individuals to help de-escalate the situation. And we also talked a lot today about the different community resources that are available. The doctor said that finding help for individuals once the situation is resolved is the next step in the officer's training. Sheriff Jim Quatrone explained that community members were given the opportunity to voice their concerns about how law enforcement deals with mental health crises and how they can improve. Today we had people that were here that were uh, consumers, people who had uh, Unfortunately, had run-ins with law enforcement, um, with an emotional crisis, and we discussed what works, what doesn't, um, what they, you know, would like to see from law enforcement, and it helps the officers to understand better how to compassionately deal with somebody who's in an emotional crisis. The sheriff continued that diverting those in a mental health crisis from jails and hospitals, and instead utilizing community resources, is more beneficial for the individual themselves as well as less costly. Dr. Kamen says this training is one of the first steps in. Transforming the system, with the ultimate goal of police officers not being the first to respond to a mental health situation. Instead, it would be a mental health professional. Julia Gress, WNY News Now.